The Mandian Putri Gallery and a demonstration on making local cakes were among the interesting experiences gained by 60 participants of the Brunei United States English Language Enrichment Project for ASEAN during a two-day visit to the Tutong district recently. The participants were in the country for seven weeks before continuing on with the program at the East West Center in Hawaii. The project was conducted by University Brunei Darussalam or UBD. Participants visited places of interest and saw the cultural diversity of the Tutong district. They included the One Village, One Product Gallery that showcases the cultural heritage and village products, as well as demonstrations on making kue rangin and handicraft using recycled paper. Also on the itinerary was a visit to Mandian Putri Gallery run by Haji Shari bin Haji Junaidi, the manager of Virgin Coconut Oil VCO product of the Kampung Tanjung Maya Consultative Council. The participants watched a cultural performance that showcased the traditional wedding ceremony of the Tutong ethnic group. But the most memorable and sweetest experience was being involved in the performance. Indonesian participant Furkan mentioned culture, history and the kue or local cakes served to them. Malaysian participant Ruhaniza Ramza Ramli said she did not expect the very close friendship and appreciated being selected in the program. <laughs> One of the most visited tourist destinations in Southeast Asia is the Philippines. You can find a wide range of destinations to choose from. Each has its own beauty and idea, definitely a must-visit place. In the city of Tagum in Davao del Norte, a night market was offered by the local government. Although the idea is not new, many tourists are still buying a great deal of products. This was made not only to boost the tourism, but also to help the street vendors. Just like any other night market, a great number of products can be seen and bought here. Therefore, if you visit the Tagum city, make sure to visit the night market. Tagum city is also known for their durian. This is the specialty of one of the Pasa Lubong shops here. Meron tayong Dorian tarts, pastillas, we have the braso, Dorian pies, chiwis, Dorian buns, folboron, meron pang Dorian roll. Marami pa, marami. Basta magawa sa Dorian. The taste is really good. Once you taste it, hanap-hanapin mo talaga siya. Kaya nga, our rule now is every time meron kaming mga bisita coming from Manila, hindi sila pwedeng makauwi pag hindi sila makakain ng Dorian. It's a nice uh, experience, no? an adventure, uh, pag kumain kayo ng dorian, lalo na yung hindi pa kumakain, try it! And if you get tired roaming around Tagum, there is a restaurant that you should not miss. Not just food, but the unique experience was offered here in UU. The concept of UU is something fun, okay? It's for everyone, for kids, for the oldies, so we wanted everyone talaga na Kung pupunta sila dito, they really feel at home. We serve everything pretty much. We have, we have cakes, yun talaga ang main namin. Pero aside from that, meron kaming rice meals which is sa amin, yung baby back ribs yung bestseller. We have pasta, pizza, sandwiches, quesadilla. Um, if you're on a diet, we have salads, we have coffee, milkshakes. Ice cream, homemade ice cream of course. Um, yung sa amin, we don't really sell the classic cakes, the normal ones, since Ano kami, yung concept namin is fun, so we have yung praline, which is our best seller, it's a chocolate hazelnut crunch cake, so people really go here for that. We have rainbow cake, our red velvet looks different, it's red velvet cake. Visit Tagum, it's, it's really a fun place, the, the Palm City capital of the Philippines, of course. In line with the World Alzheimer's Week, Tan Tok Seng Hospital announced its geriatric integrated network for dementia. Under the network, the hospital will collaborate with GPS from November to better address the needs of caregivers and patients with dementia. 
More than 22,000 people over the age of 65 have dementia in Singapore, and this number is set to triple within the next 15 years. In response to their needs, Tan Tot Seng Hospital's Geriatric Integrated Network for Dementia seeks to increase access to dementia care in the central region. District that has the largest number of elderly citizens in in in, Sing in Singapore. We have uh, more than 300,000 who are uh, very uh, a lot older than 50, you know. And so it's very critical for us, in fact, for the Central Singapore CDC to work with the network to ensure that services like these that are progressive, that are important, that are meaningful, that move at the time are available. People know about them. People can have access to them. The hospital announced during its World Alzheimer's Week event that it has been working with home care providers since May and will collaborate with general practitioners from November. The network began as a partnership with National Healthcare Group Polyclinics in 2012. Under this system, suitable patients from Tan Tok Seng Hospital are discharged to polyclinics or home care providers. They are then cared for by doctors, social workers and psychologists from these institutions. Elderly with a lot of medical problems and also you suspect that there might be already moderate dementia can be seen, seen in the primary care setting or even in the home care setting where it's more appropriate. In that way, we can actually serve more patients in the appropriate sites. If they need more specialist care, they can actually just come straight back to us. And because of this care and we have capacity, then they are able to actually seek treatment earlier and earlier as compared to previously where it's very fragmented and skewed care. Some 300 patients have been discharged to nine polyclinics for continued care. An interim results of a study showed promising results with fewer hospital visits for patients and less stress among caregivers. The southern province of Baria, Vung Tau, has long been an investor magnet for developments in its tourism industry and marine economy. Due to the province's preferential policies toward overseas, Vietnamese investors Baria, Vung Tau, has become Vietnam's leading city in investment from this group. It was over 20 years ago when Anoa Dusol Peran, a Vietnamese French woman, first set foot on Long Hai Beach. She quickly recognized the area's great potential for tourism. In 1997, she invested 50 billion Vietnamese dong in a beachfront resort. Unfortunately, a massive storm destroyed the resort in its entirety in 2006. Soon after, it had begun making a steady profit. Anoa did not look away from the region, however, and she invested in a four-star mansion complex. Ngu Yeng Ngoc Mai, Board of Directors of Vabis Hong Lam International Vocational College, said skilled laborers are crucial for the development of a nation, especially in sectors that require the application of high technology. Skilled laborers will become the driving force in the industrialization of Vietnam. Realizing the increasing investment flow from overseas Vietnamese, the province's authorities have set preferential policies for this sector of investors. For instance, local leaders often keep overseas Vietnamese up to date about their plans and directives for the development of key industries and infrastructure. <coughs> Li Thi Tan Tien, Acting Director, Foreign Affairs Department, Baria Vung Tau Province, said the province is working to boost its tourism, seaports and logistics sectors. Recently, overseas Vietnamese who have invested in these sectors have witnessed a high return on their investments. They can see that the business relationship between overseas Vietnamese investors and local authorities is proving to be highly lucrative. In Baria Vung Tau, there are currently more than 100 businesses owned by overseas Vietnamese investing in local projects with a total capital of 6.8 million US dollars. This has made the province the leading locality nationwide in attracting investment from overseas Vietnamese. Baryang Vung Tao's industries with the highest foreign investments, including tourism, patrol services, trade, real estate and education.
Thai and foreign tourists flock to a new unseen destination, the Emerald Cave in Trang Province, as it is reopened for the public for the first time after a four-month closure. Local tourist boat operators are delighted to welcome the tourists back to the province after Jiao Mai Marine National Park announced the reopening of five islands and a cave. Ko Kradan, Ko Chuek, Ko Ma, Ko Wain, Ko Muk, and Emerald Cave. From June 1st to September 30th every year, most marine national parks in the Andaman Sea are closed to allow young marine lives to grow and marine plants to recuperate. The reopening of these tourist destinations spurred the local economy as tour guides, hotels and boat operators are back to their normal businesses. The Emerald Cave is one of the unseen sites of Thailand frequently visited by tourists from both Thailand and overseas. A team of Thai ophthalmologists and physicians restored eyesight for 206 Myanmar cataract patients in Mon State on the occasion of World Sight Day recently. Hundreds of patients suffering from the illness commonly found in elderly people received the treatment at General Hospital in Mua Lam Yin on the World Sight Day. The program is a coordinated effort by Ban Pao Hospital, Thailand Crown Property Bureau and Siam Cement Group SCG to send free service for people in rural communities who lack access to medical treatment. As a leading eye care institute in Thailand, Ban Phayo Hospital has been involved in projects to help Thai cataract patients for years. With their shared goals, the hospital, the Crown Property Bureau and SCG together launched the program called Sharing a Brighter Vision in Mo Lam Yin. Chief Minister of Mon State Yu Oh Mien said this life-changing program would definitely have ripple effects on Myanmar society and help strengthen ties between Thailand and Myanmar as well. Dr. Pontep Pongtavikon of Ban Phil Hospital said the hospital is proud of the service. Not only the recipients were happy, but all in his team were also happy to deliver the help. Crown Property Bureau Deputy Direct Wana Vimol Supa Kasim said it was one of the Bureau missions as guided by His Majesty King Bumipol Adul Yadech to provide assistance to those in need, not only in Thailand but also other countries. According to Mo Lam Yin General Hospital, many patients suffer from cataract in Myanmar. More than 80% of the elderly population is affected.